72 F100. Still looks like a log truck, but has 2015 guts in it. That's your farm truck, man. Ah, I don't know if this has ever gonna touch the farm. This thing's got the heartbeat of a monster now. It's got a V6 EcoBoost engine with mad horsepower. A raised bed with a sweet air ride suspension. New interior with a lowered bench seat, a tilt steering wheel, and a badass shifter for that manual transmission. And of course, it wouldn't be a mob steel ride without the Detroit steel wheels. Unbelievable. Paul wanted a custom 70s chopper. Man, I gotta tell you, I don't think we could have gotten any more 70s if we went back in time to build this thing. I honestly can't even believe myself how insane the paint job came out. I took big, bold colors and used paint thinner, my fingers, dirty rags, whatever I could think of to come up with a unique look for this bike. But while she absolutely looks like she's out of the 70s, we were sure to make certain she rides like a 21st century chop. She's got a 96 cubic inch shovel, six speed transmission, kick and electric start, not to mention an electronic ignition to make sure she runs like a dream. I can see why Danny doesn't want to be here. It even tears me up to see this ride off the lot. With all the construction going on in the diner, there's nowhere for me to cook. This is a huge setback. I need to figure out how I'm gonna cook, how I'm gonna make new items. Picture of my favorite motorcycle. <laughs> How you doing? What do you think of that thing? That's a beautiful bike. Thank you very much, man. My name's Basil. Dale, nice to meet you, Pleasure man. Pleasure to meet you, Dale. There's hundreds of rare American machines here at Wheels Through Time, and I keep them all running. But one of the Harleys that's closest to my heart is this one. What exactly am I looking at? Oh, man. A crankshaft must run true. So when the pistons are going down, the flywheels can't waver. I'm in the midst of rebuilding the lower end on Jerry's 1940 WLD. What I'm doing right now is chewing the crankshaft to Harley-Davidson's factory specs. Harley-Davidson was insistent that the crankshaft tolerance was less than two thousandths of an inch. I had to tear down the engine to replace these little babies. I've got them installed in the flywheels, and if I spin these and they line up, we're going to be in great shape. So the big test is, are they true? And how good am I? Oh, look at that.